If you have a website and you consistently get traffic to that website, you need to be running remarketing ads using Google ads. Now, remarketing ads is not a new concept by any means, but the amount of business owners that I see on a daily basis that don't leverage Google remarketing ads uh, is honestly insane and leaves so much opportunity on the table, especially if you have consistent traffic, you have a YouTube channel, especially, right? And you have a ton of traffic there. And again, you want more leads, you want more customers and more sales. So in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to do remarketing ads using Google ads so that you can be omnipresent across YouTube, display and all of Google's network of products so that you can be seen much, much more and generate more leads and more sales. Okay, so here we are in a Google ads account. Now, the first thing that we're gonna to need to do when setting up remarketing campaigns is we need to connect all of the other resources and assets that essentially track that data from existing customers on our site, right? And so the first thing we need to go to is we are going to go to tools and then we are going to go to data manager. Now data manager, this is again, where all of that data comes in from external tools. Now the main one is going to be Google Analytics 4. So as you can see, I already have this connected right here. Uh, and so essentially what you can do here is if you did not have that already connected, you would click on Google Analytics 4. So if I go back to here, you just scroll down, find Google Analytics right here. You'd want to click on Google Analytics and then find your actual Google Analytics one right here. I have a bunch of different ones here. And then you'd want to link that. So just select a link and that will then link that to your actual website right here. So if I go to right here, Jet Ads 4 GA4 and I link that, right? You have these options right here, import web and web, import app and web metrics. Right, so this turning this on allows Google Analytics app and web metrics to give your customers more customer centric measurements, right? And then importing of Google Analytics audiences. So this is the big one that we're talking about for remarketing right here. You can turn this on so Google Analytics app and web metrics gives you more customer centric data. Essentially, that's how we're gonna be doing the remarketing. So once we have GA4 connected, right? Then we can link that to our Google Ads account. And now we have this as a part of our connections so that we can import those audiences and actually remarket specifically to those audiences. Now, if you don't have GA4 already set up, I have other videos on the channel that you can check out to see how to set up GA4. You're gonna to wanna to connect that to your website so that you can track all the visitors to your website. Now, the other thing is if you have a YouTube channel. So in my case, I do have a YouTube channel uh, and that is already linked right here. So again, you would come to here if you did have a YouTube channel and you'd wanna connect that as well. And essentially you just upload your link to your YouTube channel Pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And you can see what we get permission with is you can see the view count. You can actually do remarketing, as I said, and some uh, uh, people who have engaged with your ads, you can do remarketing too as well. Okay, so that is the first step complete. And that is all about linking up again, those data sources. Next thing that we need to do is actually create the audiences. Okay, so we're gonna go to tools right here and then we're gonna go to shared library and then we're gonna go to audience manager. And that's where we're gonna import and create our custom audiences that we can use for remarketing. So as you can see, you have your data segments, you have audiences right here, you have custom segments, right? Uh, combined segments, different kind of things that you can create right here. So first under your data segments, this is where you'd wanna go and this is where you're gonna be able to create those audiences. So if I go right here, first of all, what we're gonna wanna create is go to Google Analytics right here, right here, and we can import people from Google Analytics 4. So I'm gonna go to Google Analytics right here. I'm gonna select that property that I just created right there, and I'm gonna go continue. Okay, from here, we have a couple of different things that we can actually add in. So there's different templates right here. The general ones though are pretty good. So you have recently active users, you have non-purchasers, you have seven day inactive users, seven day inactive users as well. And then you have some different templates that you can also use to create as well. And then you have some predictive ones as well. Um, which are not eligible to use in this case because I don't have actually purchases, but uh, this is more of an e-commerce one, which is uh, definitely very useful if you are an e-commerce store. So I'm gonna go back to general and what I typically use is recently active users. This is a good audience right here. And so I'll actually import this and you can see I have 1.4K recently active users, which would be 30 day duration, right? And so if you want this to increase to say 60 days, right, then you have that option and then that will increase and now we'll let everybody who's a recently active user in 60 days importing that audience. So 60 days for me is a good audience size. So I'm actually going to use that. And then you also have the functionality to add in different features like such as an and feature. So you can be user engagement. And if they also have did a form submit, right? Then you could add that in as well. So if either they've engaged on your site or they've submitted a form, which means they're more engaged, right? That would uh, essentially narrow your audience down a lot more. So I don't necessarily want to do that, but uh, that's an option that you can do as well. So uh, I've already created this audience. So I'm just going to create this one as well. And I'm just going to name this 60 days. And then I can go ahead and create this audience. So that's the most basic way to do that. 
all you really have to create is that recently active users audience in 60 days. That's a good audience to get started with to just remarket to everybody who's coming to your website, right? Consistently and just getting people back to your website and kind of keeps them in that remarketing pool if they keep on clicking your ad and returning back to your website, right? If they ignore you for 30 days or 60 days, uh, you know, at that point, they're going to fall out of your audience. And that's a totally fine time for them to fall out as long as you're staying on top of them. And you know, they didn't engage with your ads over that entire time. Okay, they're not going to be interested in your and what you're selling. So you also can go back to Google Analytics, right? And so if you do have an e-commerce store, I would recommend creating some of these other ones as well. So you have again, non-purchasers is one that's a bit more general. So you have non-purchasers right here, what you could do in the last 30 days, you could do, you know, last 90 days or something like that, right? And essentially that would be everybody who has never bought from you um, over an ex um, extended period of time. As you can see, these estimates are in the last 30 days. So that's essentially what that's going to be built around. So I'm going to create that as well. Okay, so we've created that. Next thing is YouTube as well. So I have a YouTube uh, following. And so for me, I would want to use my YouTube users as well. So if we go to YouTube users right here, what we can do is just name this. Uh, well, I'll name it after I actually create this right here. So I'm going to search for my channel right here. As you can see, I have my channel connected. I have 3.3K subscribers. So viewed any video in the last 30 days. That's a good audience that you could do. You could also do subscribe to your channel in the last 30 days. You could do visit the channel page in the last 30 days liked a video, right? View a particular video or, uh, you know, a video as an ad or something like that. And then you could pre-fill in the last 30 days or start with an empty segment. And then that will start to populate after you create this audience. So for me, let's just say one audience that I want to create is I'm going to go view certain videos right here. And so what I can do is if I actually go to my YouTube, okay. And so I have a couple of different like case study videos on my actual YouTube right here. And so these are gonna be for my most engaged users. So if I go to this one, Solar 2024, right? Uh, let's see what else I have right here. I have a, some case studies, maybe this one right here. This one's more e-commerce focused. And then, and then like, you know, this one, Solar as well, for example, right? So let's say I wanna use these videos. If I, if I wanted to go back to here, I could import this in this video. Sure, let's just say this video and this video as well. So then I got like most of my case study focused videos in here, which are more engaged users that might actually buy what I have to sell. So I'm gonna upload these videos right here. And this is going to be my most, let's just go case study videos, case study video views, right? 30 days. Let's just go honestly like 180. I think 365 is the max you can do. So if I go like 400, maybe it'll let me. I'll try 400. I'll see what happens there. Okay, awesome. So that actually worked. So that's 400 days that it actually let me do there. And so there we go. So we have this now. I'm going to do this as 400. So we have video viewers of any of those videos in the last 400 days. And that is another segment there. So we have all of our audience segments now. And the last thing to do is to set up our campaign to remarket to these audience segments that we created for people that have visited our site but have not bought from us. So to do that, I'm gonna go back over here to campaigns. I'm gonna go new campaign, click on new campaign. Now it depends what you wanna optimize for. In our case, I'm gonna to wanna to optimize for leads, but you might wanna optimize for sales, of course, um, if you are an e-commerce store. So for me, I'm gonna do leads. It's gonna be the same idea either way though. And so you have a couple different options right here. Uh, the main one that I would recommend is setting up a performance max campaign as that is gonna show your ads across all networks, right? And so if we see how this works right here, if I open this up, right? Open this up right here. We can see that's going to show across YouTube display, uh, Gmail, um, search. It's going to show across pretty much everything. And you can also connect your merchant center account there. So it's also like shopping ads and things like that for your remarketing list. And so that's the first one that I would recommend there. You can also do display, which is, you know, 3 million sites and apps. So across all different types of apps and sites on Google, you're going to show up there. And then you also have demand gen, which is YouTube discover and Gmail. Um, so the main one, again, recommending is performance max, and you don't need to have a lot of budget there, $5 a day on a performance max campaign, and you're going to be good to go. So I'm going to turn this off because I don't want to use that. Grab our website URL right here. Okay. Enter that in. So I'm going to name this remarketing engaged users, and then brand name jet ads. Okay. Click on continue right here. I'm going to go ahead and start a new one. So I want to focus on conversions. I want to focus on getting leads and conversions from this campaign. So I'm not gonna set a cost per result because we don't have any data yet on this actual audience. And I just wanted to spend a low amount to try to get new customers. Now, if you do have a customer list and you wanna focus on acquiring new customers, then you can turn this on, but this is a remarketing campaign. So I wouldn't say it's necessary to actually add this in because you're adding in people that have not bought from you before in your remarketing list. So if we go over to here, we have all countries and territories. I would recommend just targeting the top countries that you're trying to advertise in, right? If, if you can get customers in all of Canada, 
then do it as all of Canada. If you are very geographically limited and you only want to do your city, then just do your city. So for me, I'm just going to do Canada. I'm actually going to do Canada and the United States because we have customers from both countries. And so both of those places we want to remarket to. So now it has automatically created assets. So I am going to enable that and enable this video. Both of those are fine. And then we have ad schedule, all this, all this is fine as well, okay? So it's gonna pull some things from our uh, Instagram, our Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, lots of different things right here. We have this, so this is a really bad AI description, but if you wanna do this, it's gonna give you some good headlines and descriptions that you can use right here. If I scroll down, I'm gonna go to this, and I am going to go to, back to here, add this description in there, talk ads, and more okay so i'm going to generate those assets right now and this is going to be our remarketing assets okay so now this is going to generate all us all types of ai things um using that description that i gave it okay so now google has imported all of this ad copy into our actual ad right here now all we have to do is populate in the descriptions um and some of the images and things like that and then we are going to be good to go right here so for me just to do this really quick and simple like i am just going to uh, actually enter all this data in here. So jet ads for the images right here, I'll just select all of these images. And then for videos, I have some videos already right here. So I'm gonna add those in. If you have YouTube videos, you can add those in to show for remarketing as well. And that's never going to hurt. And then we have some different things like I have the blog center there. I have our about us, right? Just make sure all these links work. All right, so the about us is good. We've got our FAQ. Okay, and all that's looking good. So then there we go. So that's how we have all the assets into there, right? And so that's pretty much what that looks like. Obviously, you'd want to kind of go through here and see like this one, for example, I do not want to have in there. Uh, yeah, no, I don't want this one either. So, you know, just kind of clean this up and sure looks good. I'll just I'll, I'll use that. Obviously, you'd want to kind of make sure those images look a lot better than that. And then the main thing here is when you come down to signals now in your Pmax campaign, this is where you want to use that data. So reach the right customers fast across Google with audience signals. So you have your search terms and then you have your audience signals right here and everything like that. So what I would do, add in your data right here. You have your website visitors. This is where we can add in right, non-purchasers right here. Okay, we have recently active users in the last 60 days. So we can add that in as well. And then we already added in the YouTube audience. So we have YouTube viewers, right? We have non-purchasers. We have recently active users in the last 60 days. And then the only other thing is the case study video views last 400 days. So we can add that in as well. And as far as the other audience signals go, you don't even need to add anything else. This is just gonna be remarketing, okay? And this is an audience signal, so it may expand beyond this. It's a starting point to reach customers. And so that is kind of the only thing with, with Pmax that is to be aware of is that it might expand your audience initially outside of this. And so that is something to know with Pmax is that it may expand your audience. And so we'll also explore setting up a display campaign, which is very similar, which you can set it up so that it only targets your actual remarketing audiences as well. But that's pretty much how to set up Pmax. So from here, you can go ahead and publish this and you can set a custom budget right here. Typically just do this very small, like $5 a day. Okay, so I'll just publish this in there just so we can get this live. Okay, so that is the Pmax route. And then the way to do that with display very, very similar steps right here. So you go to new campaign, you go leads right here, continue. You're gonna select display instead of performance max. And then we're gonna enter in our website URL right here. Enter that in, continue. Then we're gonna go remarketing, display, okay, brand name. Okay, again, I'm gonna select Canada right here. All these settings are already good to go, so you don't need to worry about this. Go ahead and go next. This is where we're gonna enter in our budget. So I'm just gonna go $5 right here. And then what do you wanna focus on? Conversions, uh, automatically maximize the number of conversions. So again, we're gonna do that. And then I'm gonna go next right here. So adding the targeting right here. So optimized targeting is set up for you. So essentially this is where it'll do that like expansion using the landing pages and the assets there. So what we want to do is go ahead and use those audience segments that we actually created. So we can use our data right here, website visitors. Again, we can go non-purchasers. We can go recently active users, right? And then we can go to YouTube. Okay, and then I got case study and then the viewers there. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that. So this is gonna suggest who sees your ad. And then you can turn off optimized targeting, right? This is the expansion there. So this is what's gonna enable you to only reach your target segments that you wanna use. And so that's how you do the display essentially. And then you have these demographic keyword things like this. All you can, you can just leave all of that blank and then go ahead and create your actual ad right here. And then essentially just upload your business name, upload all of your different assets, logos, videos. Again, same process there. And then you can go ahead and publish that ad. And that's just gonna show your actual ad across YouTube and Gmail and then websites and apps as well for 
remarketing. So that is how to create remarketing ads on Google so that you can show up everywhere across Google's network on YouTube, display tons of websites and apps, and overall be omnipresent so that you can generate more leads and sales for your business. Again, if you're budget conscious, I wouldn't recommend using that Pmax campaign. I would recommend using the display campaign, turning off that audience expansion so you only reach your remarketing users. If you want to go a little bit broader, and you don't mind uploading some customer lists and having your ads reach other people that also might convert, then feel free to use Pmax and run that ad that way. So thanks so much for watching the video. If you could, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button as well so you don't miss out on any of the latest content around ads. We're really trying to get to 10,000 subscribers this year, so that goes a long way. And yeah, hopefully you have an amazing rest of your day, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.